Do you ever have those days where you just like feel so motivated and like, yes, today I'm going to be like so productive and like you actually are? Like, I feel like, I feel like these days don't come enough and I'm going to harness it. We're going to do a mock-up today because this is my pattern. Um, I've used this pattern before. I love this pattern. I am now too big for this pattern. So we're going to adjust the pattern to fit me. Because what does it say? I, I forgot my me- Ooh, what are my measurements? I feel like that's a loaded question because I literally change on a daily basis because my body hates me. Okay, measuring. I'm gonna have to add like six inches to this pattern. Which, I was, ooh, originally I was thinking about adding 10. I lost weight. I mean, I'm measuring my hips, so that's like too low for like my bloating issues. I'm thoroughly confused right now. But if we add 10 inches to the pattern, then that'll give me plenty of ease, right? And then I can take it in if I need to, but I want them a looser fit because I want these to be like work pants. I'm never going to work. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's pull out the pattern and figure it out. start with six inches uh, just because I want it to be high-waisted like I haven't I, I have this vision of how it's going to fit and we're, we're gonna get there somewhere in the mess in the back of the closet is my fabric so it actually wasn't in the back of the fabric apparently the last time I reorganized everything I had the thought of oh I'll probably make my overalls in slacks soon so I will like put them at the front of the closet where I could see them easily and I just completely missed them. Alright, so I ended up not doing anything yesterday. It was a low energy day and sometimes you just need to take a break. I did go for a walk. I curled up in blankets the rest of the day and it was, it was a great day. But today we are going to be productive. I already have everything I need. It's all laid out. We're just, let's just get to work. Okay, so four slant pockets. You want this like curve shape cut into the front panels of your pants as well as the pocket front pocket pieces. Um, and then you're going to want like just the regular right angle on your back panel pieces. So this back panel piece is just going to fill in right there and like just basically remake the front panel piece. So that's what we're going to be doing through sewing. So the first step is to sew these front pocket pieces. They're basically just like the pocket facing pieces to the front panel. Okay, so this is our finished pocket. Um, I based it right here just to keep like the pocket in place while I'm like doing other things. This isn't the biggest hand opening, but it's functional, so that's all that matters. I, didn't, I don't want huge bulky pockets on this project, I don't think. I'm like designing it as I go. <laughs> this is this is a thing. Anyway, so because we added this back in, I'm going to be able to sew these together just like a normal pajama pant thing, so that's what I'm going to do.
you guys like right now I made a mistake we should have gotten through all these fit issues before I put in those pockets that's okay I'm gonna take the pockets out we're gonna we're gonna fit this waist um, I took like a extended lunch to like give myself time to mull it over, give it time to percolate. Anyway, we're gonna get it done. I don't even know how my makeup looks. Does it look good still? Okay, so I have all of the fly pieces done and the pants. So let's pin that together. So the way that these are shaped, it's not going to be my preference, but I think it's going to be the easiest, is if I put the button placket here, um, and then put the buttonholes on the back. It means that I'll get possible gaping, but that's better than sewing buttonholes into my pocket. At least that's what I'm thinking. Oh, I guess... I guess I'd only need to really put two buttons in there and there. Because where's... So if we split this into thirds... Then... Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because my buttons... So the buttonhole will go right there. And right there. And then I'll have another one in the waistband. So I'll have three buttons. This is gonna work. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we are going to sew this on this way. Because this is where the buttonholes. This is gonna be the buttonhole reinforcement. Um, and then we will sew the button pockets onto the back. Cool. Yes. Awesome. We're gonna, let, let's let's go sew this. Okay, so this turned out really well, like a lot better than I expected. This part was kind of tricky. Um, yeah, like it, it was just tricky. Um, but like, look, it's gonna line up so nice. The gaping between the buttons, if any, will be towards the back. Oh, I'm just I'm so excited at this point. So what I have to do next is put on the waistband, which I'm kind of excited about. That means this is getting done. Um, and I'm doing the waistband because I can't really do like any other fitting things until I have closures and it's like sitting right. Like I'm gonna want to figure out where I want the hem and it's just, there's a lot left to do fitting wise, but I'm not gonna figure that out until I get in an estate where I can fit it. So. We're gonna do the waistband next and go from there. Oh, I'm this is, these are turning out so well. It's just making me look really huge but if I taper it a little bit it'll give me a better shape so I'm thinking like that much on both sides all the way down anyway um the length is good I don't think I can like see it on the camera but it's pretty much going all the way to the ground which means that I can get a good hem on it but yeah proud of the way that this fits my sway back. 
nothing fits my sway back this well and it, it's kind of impressive. So, this is the final fitting. I will fix this issue because this is the main one. And then we will put buttonholes where buttonholes need to be and make the straps. I was gonna say, and be done! But no, there's leg tapering that needs to happen. So this project has been like 90% done picking as I like troubleshoot my way through it. But good news is I think I have the bib figured out so that way I can um, get this thing done. I'm going to unpick yet again and I will just figure it out. Oh, explaining what's wrong with the bib. Um, insert picture. It just, the waistband isn't laying flat and it's all the bib's fault so th that's what we're fixing. Okay, so you can see how this is kind of like a harsh angle instead of rounded. So if I like rounded that out, it would make the waistband lay better. So that's what we're gonna do. So smoothing that out made the waistband fit really nice. So yeah. Gotta love bunched up shirts underneath high waist pants. The buttonholes were pretty straightforward to put in. I ended up with four on each side of the pants for the closure, as well as two at the top of the bib. Just hold the straps on and make sure it was easy to get on and off. Oh, hey, it's Joe. So I thought Joe decided that it was adventure time, but it was actually like nervous energy time. He just stress pooped all over these overalls. So I like, <laughs> ugh, small animal problems. Anyway, I'm going to hurry up and finish them because I just need the patch pockets on the back and a hem. And then I'm going to throw everything I'm wearing in the wash and probably hop back in the shower because I literally just got out and he was climbing in my hair and I don't know if he pooped in my hair anyway. <sighs> But this is what happens when you change up diet and don't give enough snuggles and it, it's okay. We'll just get this done and clean everything. Needless to say, I did not get very much or really any good footage of the final few steps, but I had other things on my mind. And in case you're worried, Joe is fine. I mixed some Gatorade in with his food. He got some like alone time in his cage. We're doing snuggles and scritches today. He's okay. I just fed him too much cheese. I mean, it gets you every time. And after the wash is done, these are ready to wear. I'm a little disappointed that the length isn't as long as I wanted it to be, but they had problems with the inseam and it's just a bunch of technical jargon that you probably don't care about. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>